Canada is condemning Syria for reportedly using chemical weapons on its own people again. At least 70 people died, many of them children. Our Paul Hunter now on the aftermath. And we should tell you, the pictures are disturbing. Horrific and nauseating. Bodies, young and old, foaming at the mouth, suggesting the likelihood of yet another chemical attack in Syria. Witnesses are said to have described a bomb blast, and then no one could breathe. Even as survivors sought treatment, Damascus denied it had gassed its own people. But it's clear the U.S. president believes that's exactly what happened. An atrocity, he tweeted this morning. Sick. And for the first time in his presidency, Donald Trump criticized Russian President Vladimir Putin by name in a tweet. President Putin, Russia, and Iran, he wrote, are responsible for backing animal Assad. Big price to pay. Recall Trump one year ago after another gas attack blamed on the regime of Bashar al-Assad. When you kill innocent children, innocent babies, babies, little babies, with a chemical gas that is so lethal. Days later, 59 U.S. cruise missiles struck a Syrian airbase. So will he now strike again? Just last week, Trump suggested he's eager to pull U.S. troops out of Syria. But that was before this apparent new chemical attack and Trump's tweet threatening action. They see us, our resolve breaking. They see our determination to stay in Syria waning. Urging him on, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. So this is defining moment, Mr. President. You need to follow through with that tweet. Trump will get guidance on that tomorrow, the first day on the job for his new national security advisor, John Bolton, long an advocate of airstrikes against Syria. Said the White House today, nothing's off the table. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.